Welcome everybody to Metroid Prime Trilogy. We are back again. This is Ace of the Sand and Black Abyss, uh, episode three. This one's on my channel. Um, yep, odds are on your channel. Yeah, and yet you're playing them. Yeah. A I actually kind of like. Yeah, I kind of like that. You actually. get the, or your fans get the yammering, and I get to play. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> because people listen. Yeah, because people watch my videos to hear me talk. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it works, right? I, I guess. I don't know. Um, so we were just talking about Dark Souls and Pikmin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to leave it Here's at that. Idea. Let you imagine. <laughs> Dark Souls and Pikmin. I'd like to make like a, a combination of it, too. I, really I think that would be horrifying. Um, but the context was that I thought Pikmin was a difficult game, and we've both played Dark Souls... And I, I just wanted to comment on... This is a story I've told so many times to just friends in general. Um, the Abyssal, or the... What's he called? The first the first major boss, the gigantic the, just guardian dude. The demon, or the Abi asylum demon. Asylum demon, thank you. Um, the first time I fought him, the like I saw, oh my god, this is going to be so impossible to do. So I ran past him and ran through the hole. Yeah, that's exactly that's what you're it. supposed to do. I know, and I just like, <laughs> I was just like, no, no, I can't do this. Is there a place to hide? I scanned the room. There's a place to hide. Run! <laughs> just like, hightailed it for my life, you know? Uh, there's a lot of things in that game that can be solved by running the hell away. <laughs> like the dragon? Oh, God. The dragon on the bridge? The the wyvern? Mm. That's what they wanted to call it. But whenever I think wyvern, I think of uh, Terraria. <laughs> Where they have... Well, their wyverns in that game are uh, the dragon from Never Ending Story. Aww, <laughs> why would you kill those? Because you can get wings. What? But, but <laughs> those dragons drop, are so adorable. They drop a pretty sizable amount of gold for how easily they are killed. Oh my god, you're terrible. I know, don't worry. Trust me, I've got uh, like 200 <laughs> hours in Terraria. I know I'm already terrible, that's... Not a normal human should play 200 hours of Terraria. <laughs> oh, look at that. Already about to kill it. Oh, do you want me to scan the wasps in here? Yeah. Because they're, uh... We need them for completion. Well, they're they're not found anywhere else. Yeah, I know. But you need creature scans for completion, too. Yeah. We're not doing 100%, are we? Uh, no, not on this one. Metroid Prime 3 is a lot easier because the scans are easier to do. I, I always hated scans, and I, I, I'm i more, like, uh, Pure ready to type. do the power-ups as opposed to scans. Yeah. I love the lore. I hate looking for the lore, unless I, like, Google search it. Yeah. Well, we can get all the lore on, um, uh, from the guidebook. Yeah. Other than that, though, this is, uh, probably, like, I, I can't, I can't say this enough, but this is just, this is one of my favorite games. This is a fantastic game. It takes a deep, a pretty good amount of skill to play. Well, um, it's not, like, an immense amount, but if no. you're new to it, you're definitely gonna have an interesting time. Yeah. Like, I tried to sit down James once to, uh, just play Metroid Prime for a little bit, because he wanted to or something, because he was watching yeah. me play, and he was doing, like way different things than I was, because I had, like, ten years of background. <laughs> right. And other players are just like, I don't, I, I, but I just, what? Yeah, well, some of those weird, um, well, because the control scheme is way different compared to your standard shooter nowadays. Right, right. Uh, where you've got look modifiers and stuff like that. Normally you don't get those. But, um, uh, like... James was having a hard time with the looking around with the right trigger right. mechanic. Which is weird, considering I, I thought he played FPSs. He does. Oh. Well, not all quite as much as he plays MOBAs, but... Uh, That's true. MOBAs are fun. Yeah, let's get this uh, missile Excuse tank me. here. So, uh, we opted to get um, the uh, morph, ball morph ball bomb before we get the charge beam this episode, because there's a bunch of missile tanks we can get that way. Actually... We might not be able to get through that unless it's um, a standard missile door thing. It is. Because if I remember, if it, uh, well, the door isn't what I'm worried about to get into that section. It's um, where one of the missile tanks are, because one of them is on top of um, your... See? Yeah. See? You, I wanted to try it. <laughs> I wanted to try <laughs> it's it. It's so little. fulfilling the first time, and then you're like, wait, that's kind of true. Actually, I use it all the time, but um, it, it's just so much faster than... Um, 
Or if both bombs. Yeah, yeah, let's go back and get charged here with the patch. Oh, nice. Real, I real missed good that there. completely. It was, it's so dark on the TV. It, it is. And yet, it's so bright on the recording. It's so perfect. You oh, just, wait, I don't Yeah, to I was going to say, you just missed a uh, easy path. Yeah, I took that in my Let's Play, too. <laughs> How'd I forget that? I know the first, like, 60 minutes of this game, like, well enough to where I could do it in my sleep. I don't know about that. I've done some pretty amazing things in my sleep, but I've never played a video game. I have done very unremarkable things in my sleep. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> snoring, uh, yeah, breathing, uh... <laughs> talking nonsensically about things. Yeah, my, fam my family. Oh, so really you do YouTube them. videos in your sleep? No. <laughs> it's not quite that nonsensical. <laughs> Uh, it's a sad day when you realize that YouTube is just, um, is just talking nonsensically. Um, that's, that's it's always... a good skill to have. I used to be very, very, very bad about talking to anything in public. Right. But, um, well, I could talk to my friends and stuff, but that's different completely. Until I started taking speech in, uh, freshman year. Speech was fun. Speech was Not gonna scan everything? Godly helpful. Oh, wait. I sp Sorry, I'm zoning out really hard. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you are. I'll say, jumping into the acid. Don't make fun of me. Actually, it doesn't bother me that much. <laughs> jumping, that's the kind of thing I would do. I really just didn't want to deal with the tentacle, I think. You just, you see it and just subconsciously you're just like, <sighs> yeah, I'm done with this. This is not no, what I want to do. Gusta. Spanish. <laughs> it's muy encantante. Encantante? Content. Is it, it, no, no. Contento is content. Encantante. I don't remember. What I'm that pretty is. sure that's enchanted or enchanting. I think it is. Um, well, <laughs> there, there's an episode of um, American Dad where they have this like fake Hispanic singer called Cilantro, and wow. uh, the song is El Perro es El Perro es muy. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember what they said. <laughs> Darn it! I watch American Dad constantly. How did I? Think that? <laughs> I'm so bad at remembering which places where. But, um, one of the lines is, uh, cilantro es encantanto, or something like that. I spaced out really hard. I'm just kind of rambling now. Yeah, well, I mean, that's that's the whole point of this Let's Play. Well, <laughs> yeah, trying to... Also out. falling in acid, that's that's a good that's a good. That'll thing. help once um, we kill Flagra, but... <laughs> This room, this room doesn't get fully clean. There are still spots, really? spots, yeah, little itty bitty locations where well, you can still burn. Really? Yeah. That sounds like a bug. It it uh, I'm assuming it was, but they never said it was. Well, um, that kind of reminds me of the really old video games with like console variants and stuff. Hey, a text. You have a text, my good I sir. do have a text, and it's from a lady. Ooh, oh my. A lady who I am not hitched with at this point. Oh. I know, right? Oh, such disappoint. Yeah, I know. I'm not good with the ladies. I'm sorry. You should be. Scanning! What does that have to do with anything? Shows a lore. Oh. <laughs> I thought it had to do with ladies. <laughs> yes. Scan the ladies! Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 Batman, scan them! <laughs> Yes. That voice sounds like Bane to me. That's, yes, is Batman. It, is that, that's Bane. We need to get you a cup to talk into so you get that voice effect. Yes, Batman. That's not quite the same. No, it's not. Okay, there's your Chosen Lore. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink the... Well, you have to you have to do the Chosen Lore so the viewers can read it. Oh, darn it. You're right. Sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going way too fast. While you chug your water over there. For a good purpose. Luckily, the for a good cause. <laughs> for yes, Batman. Yes. <laughs> I needed the water bottle, Batman. That sounds really good. Actually. Yes. Oh God! I keep, you I... merely adopted the darkness, Batman. <laughs> I was born into it. That is impressive. I actually haven't seen that movie. <laughs> That's okay. That's the only <laughs> part you need to see. It's the only part you need to see. Okay, yeah, you can just open that one. I was worried you had to open that with Super Missile. Yes, Batman. <laughs> I love doing that voice. <laughs> Sean Connery. Sean Connery. Sean Connery. The yeah, name's but, Bond. Uh, the other one, James the Bond. other one in here is up there. Right. Up and away. The name's Bond. James Bond. Shaken, not stood. I don't... Uh, have that many voices I do. I try to interpret, like, zigs and stuff occasionally, because he's just... <laughs> I can't do that. 
It's. I think it's kind of strange that I can. Yeah. This is <clears throat> <terrible. clears throat> taking like huge amounts of damage. Going back to League here for just one second. Yep. Um. Lesser creatures. Oh, sweet. Unedited, by the way, just for the viewers to know that that was unaltered. Yeah. Um. Have you ever seen uh, Stephanos Rex? I have. Yeah. He did a fantastic Thresh and Nasus. He uses a lot of like really cool effects and stuff in his VO work, but he can still do the voices really good. Really, really. Oh yeah, definitely. Even without the effects. I got stuck in a pipe. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't. You're either. teaching me things. I'm teaching myself things. That is that is always nice when Every you can day I learn. learn from yourself. Well, uh... I'm hearing everything twice right now. And it's it's really starting to mess with me. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Just to the viewers, we have um, we have a TV set up that uh, you probably can't hear with the microphone. Thank we God. checked uh, because we we didn't want it to have a um, like to hear the same thing twice because uh, we're gonna sync up the video with the audio separately. Um, but I have headphones on right. that are connected oh. to the oh. video we're recording, so I'm hearing the TV as well as the recording. Okay, what's and there's at least half a second of lag time between them. So I'm hearing everything twice, and it's really okay. starting to mess with my head. Sorry, I was trying to remember where I was supposed to go. I derped out really hard. I'm having a hard time today. I blame five hours of sleep. Uh, I blame not having five hours of sleep. Really? <laughs> I usually function with at least seven. Good lord. You are... I, I really am not functioning today. You are a god. <laughs> you are a god, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. It's all good though. At the very least, a demigod. <laughs> a demigod. To be able to fall into acid that many times in one in one episode, you are something special, dude. <laughs> Have you seen how many times I fell into lava in my let's play? I did! I did! <laughs> <laughs> lava is my enemy. Lava is everyone's enemy. Doesn't matter which game it is. Yeah, let's just... If you can. Shriek bats in the third game are really, really hard to kill for whatever reason. Just like, like before they explode. They must have buffed their HP or something. I think they did because they were too easy to kill in this well, game. You can kind of just wreck them in this game. Then again, I haven't played Metroid Prime 3 not on veteran. That's pretty cool. I think I played on normal just because I was like 11. Yeah. <laughs> That's I, like a fair excuse. For yeah, that is definitely the the. But the reason that I played it on veteran was because when I was first exposed to the Metroid Prime series, it was Metroid Prime Three, right, specifically, and I borrowed it from a friend and I completed it in two days. That's pretty impressive. Because, oh my god, this is so much fun! And I just kept going and going and going and going. And my parents came down and they were like, you really need to go to bed. And I'm like, okay, okay, in an hour. I'm sorry, son, but this is an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Oh, here comes the time. Oh, that, this doesn't bother me. It's, like, uh, additionally stressful, but I'm usually okay with it. And especially if I have that. Like, yeah, that really overpowered jump. Yeah, th they didn't have that on the game. Computer. No, because you couldn't flick it to say, jump now. Woo! Woo! Oh! Actually, uh, I figured out how to do a triple bomb jump using the the yeah. flick jump. I can see that. It gives you that additional bit. Yeah, I can. I can. Um, if I set it up right, I can do um, three bombs in the air and get launched straight up. I'll have to show you guys eventually. I I'll, probably never will. Uh, sometime soon, I'm gonna have to show you a YouTube channel I watch for the speedrun stuff. Because he was playing around in uh, Prime 3, and he got this sequence break to occur that could have saved him, like, 20-something seconds on his runtime, which is unheard of, unless it's, like, a... In a Metroid game, game yeah. Uh, but uh, the problem with that sequence break is it's actually not usable because you need some of the items that you'd have to go through that place in the first place to get, so... Huh. Yep. That's unfortunate. Yeah. It sucks. If there was a way to break, like, a certain portion of the game, that would have... That would have just, That would have like, been revolutionary. Yeah, it would have been like, Oh, hey, you, uh, you speedrun, huh? I'm pretty sure you can't do it yet. I'm pretty sure I can. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can't. Uh, I'm pretty if sure you guys don't know what we're talking about, <laughs> oh. we're gonna, we're gonna link it. Link it to... What was the, the episode. Well, that was, like, my third or fourth, fourth episode, episode, something like that. 
Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna link it there because where um, I broke. You guys need to see that. That was hilarious. Uh, it, I got uh, it to happen. Well, I didn't do that part, but I did the non-boost through that area on my most recent episode on accident, just because <laughs> I like didn't boost. Nice. Like for whatever reason. And I just planted the bomb at the right time and still got it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, it's a fantastic game. <laughs> so broken. It's, it really it's, was. You should see how broken this game is. Because we're oh playing it god. without some of the sequence breaks that they use in uh, the, the speedrun stuff. Where, like, there's a... Well, I think I talked to you about uh, the Ridley boss fight. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, you can break that boss fight completely because for some reason the boost ball deals 50,000 damage to Ridley specifically. I didn't know if it was to Ridley specifically, but if you hit him when he's in his air form with boost ball, he just loses like freaking half of his health. That is I don't beautiful. know if they fixed it or not. That is beautiful. We need to try that. Okay, where am I I need to go to the arboreum kind of thing. Here. Arboretum. Arboretum. You yeah. are correct. I used to say it Arboretum, then I realized, oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> I do that all the time. <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. Well, I mess up the pronunciation of, like, Torvus and a yeah. few other areas in here, because I I do a weird thing. It's not quite dyslexia, but it's almost. I have trouble with I's and E's a lot. Hmm. Like, I flip I those. before E except after C or in sounding like A's in neighbor and way. And on weekends and holidays and all throughout, man, you'll always be wrong no matter what you say. Thank you, shout out to Brian Regan for coming up with that. That yeah. was beautiful. That it was, was that made me it was so a wasp nest here. Where are you? One here. of the happiest things I have seen in my life. Not happiest things, one of the funniest things I've one seen. One of the happiest life. things I've seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm staring up. Yeah. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's so happy. Anyway, um yeah. That's cool, just not... Let's just don't let... Excuse you. Excuse you, Mr. Wasp. Um, we don't like you touching us there. Nobody does. Oh, Nobody dear. Nobody does. He's anything. touching you in the butt with his stinger. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. George Takei. Mm. Okay, you say Takei. Okay, because my brother and my mother say Takai, and it pisses me off because I don't know which one's right. Um... So... He kind of says both. Yeah. So... Well, I, I was just willing to trust my mom more than anybody else because she's older than me and my dad watched Star Trek a lot, so... Oh, uh, yeah. No, stop it. <laughs> wow, he... He... I don't know. Wow, that... That dude was a scumbag. I think that was clipping. I think that was a clipping glitch. Because he, he was on the other side of that. <laughs> and then he just came underneath oh, I, and back around. I know which one I forgot, too. You know, I may have to just play the menu theme because just eventually in one of these videos because that is one of my favorite songs. Uh, menu theme from Prime? Just the Prime trilogy. Oh, yeah. Um, well, uh, Metroid Metal, I included a portion of a cover of theirs. I heard in, that. Uh, the underwater section. Yeah, because for whatever reason my emulator wasn't playing the music. It does that a lot. Also, the, um, the, the fabled Samus save station. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, nice! Nice! Really? Oh! Oh! Beautiful! I didn't land in the acid, though. <laughs> Okay, okay, fine. I would have just left if I landed. <laughs> <laughs> you you would have just I been would've, like, I would have walked home. I'm I done. <laughs> called my dad. Hey, I'm in Fort Collins. <laughs> <laughs> you want to come get me? <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a beautiful play, sir. Beautiful. If that, if that had been League of Legends, I'm sure you would have gotten the kill. <laughs> just walk sideways. I've done that in League of Legends before. <laughs> I think I have to. Oh my god, that's the sad part. I think I still do it. I freaking at least silver level play. Oh god, and I'm not right. trying to be like egotastical or anything. No. I just played long enough to where I could probably easily <laughs> qualify for a silver if my teams weren't awful. And I'm awful too. But yeah, most I always like to point out that the one com the one common factor in every defeat is the player. Is is that that's quite literally um. 
There's a podcast about League of Legends called uh, Low Elo. Low Elo. It is a fantastic podcast, and they preach a lot of good stuff. But um, one of their big things uh, when they're discussing losses and stuff is that the only common factor in all of your losses is you. Exactly. So you may as well be the problem, but... Uh, the better. only thing you can do is improve. Yep. So or get worse if you're an asshole. What are we running? Twenty? Yeah, okay. we're running we're running at twenty minutes. But let's let's keep going let's for a little Flagra. bit. Let's get Yeah. Let's get Flagra. I'm feeling very asleep today. I'm feeling it. <laughs> I wish you could get the artifact in this room. Uh before you had like some of the power ups you need later in the game. This is just such a beautiful like if Flagra weren't such a disgusting monster, it would be beautiful. I think it's beautiful. It's Scyther. Look, it's it's Scyther mixed with uh, Scolipede. And a Bulbasaur? And a Bulbasaur, yeah. That too. Just a hint, though. <laughs> oh, you actually... Yeah, I was gonna say, you actually shoot um, multiple times. That was, times. like, an unintentional reaction. Flop. Aww. I just realized it's gonna spawn us right in front of that one. Luckily, but it doesn't do that for any of the other ones. No, it's just saying this is what you need to do. I like that subtle hint, which isn't all that subtle. I like that subtle hint. Go here! <laughs> it doesn't say, "Hey, you can destroy this plant monster by blowing up its roots." It says, "Hey, look, roots." And a morph ball slot. Yeah. You should probably blow that up. <laughs> no big deal if you don't, but you know you probably you'd, should. You'd probably lose. <laughs> Ow, don't be like that. Don't be like that, girl. For the longest time, I thought you had to kill it by shooting it in the face after breaking the. Um... Oh wow, I've never had him do that before. Or, or, I don't know the gender. Uh, Flagra is androgynous, meaning it it doesn't have a gender. Is that true? No, asexual implies <laughs> that you have no sexuality. God, what is wrong with you? You're such a noob. Uh. You have to shoot its face for it. Yeah, it won't let you, uh, or in the GameCube, you can just shoot it when it's, like, doing that animation. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, it's, it's really funny. Ow, don't be like that. LOL. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen to it. I, I did, I was, I was waiting for it. So I, <laughs> he's going to do it, he's going to do it, he's going to do it. You're such a good friend. Oh, I know. <sighs> Wait for it. It's coming back, ladies and gentlemen. But um. But um. Now we got three of these things. Ugh. Well, at least the flag fight isn't as hard as the um. What's his name? Thaddeus or whatever. Tardis. Tartarus. Tartarus. Yeah, Tartarus. There we go. From uh, Prime Three. No. Oh, no. Thardis. Thardis, thank you. The golem. Yeah, at least this one's not as bad as that. He's like, I'm regaining my stamina. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I actually thought the Omega Pirate was harder. I disagree. Really? I, I had an easy time with the Omega Pirate my first time. Hmm. There's a weird way you can actually determine where he's being spawned, too. He's got a set pathing. Oh, when he goes invisible, you can just x-ray. Yeah. Well, that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> I I actually let's I'm I'm thinking about it now and I actually uh, he doesn't mess up your heat visor and he gives off heat so you can just use heat visor for the entire fight in uh oh for uh, Omega Pirate yeah. really yeah I thought when he goes invisible he doesn't give off heat uh, like, I'm pretty sure he does uh oh I'll be right back oh no the no. sensor bar no worries I'll Try to keep the viewers. Oh no. Anything. I'll be back. I'm sorry. No worries, man. Let's get this. Loud door slam. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now where's our other slot? It's over there. Don't fall on me, please. Alright, everybody, that is the Flogger fight down. Well, 
Welcome Sorry, back. everybody. Um, oh, nice. You, you finished. Didn't, you didn't miss, like, anything, so. Well, uh, I forgot to close all the windows in the house after I, um, woke up. Oh, oops. That's okay, though. AC wasn't on, so we weren't wasting power. Awesome, so we just got the various suit. We only ran about four or five minutes over. Um, excuse me. Oh, I just got another kick of that yellowtail. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's it was so pretty tasty, but I didn't think it would be that good. Oh, it was so good. Anyway, um, <laughs> various suit animation. Uh, while that's happening, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, Ace of the Sand and Black Abyss. Um, annotation to episode 2 on Black Abyss's channel will be top left. Annotation to his channel for subscribe button will be in the top right. Um, leave a like and a comment on the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe to my channel to become a grain of sand today. Subscribe <laughs> to his to get updates about new videos. Yeah, I don't have a viewership. <laughs> so I don't have You do name. have a viewership. Well, I've it's got a viewership, just... but it's, it's basically just Betsy, though. <laughs> What do you mean it's just Betsy? Look, at, have you seen any of my comment section? It's like, Betsy. Betsy Cat, Betsy Cat, Betsy Cat, Betsy Cat, Betsy Cat. That's, Betsy cat, that's, Betsy cat. that's okay, mine is too. Alright, <laughs> shout out to Betsy Cat! <laughs> Alright, we will uh, see you next episode. Catch you later.